from a village to the highest office in India in the administrative side. Father was an inspiration to all of us. Topping the badge in 1949, he occupied the portals of power in Delhi as a bureaucrat. He passed away at the age of 87 in 2013. A few friends who included one of India's largest telecom operator and inspired by the leadership within the family that came by my brother-in-law is by my side, we decided to conduct a memorial lecture in his honor every year. The first year was kicked off by Eshwin Sinha, the former finance minister, and was followed by the present governor of the Reserve Bank, who was then Secretary of Economic Affairs. The then Minister for Civil Aviation, Mr. Jain Sinha, delivered the third, and two of father's friends who went on to occupy great positions in, of importance in the country, Venugopal Reddy, former governor of Reserve Bank, and N.K. Singh, former chairman of the Finance Commission, delivered the subsequent letter. The family was felt privileged and honored when the Union Finance Minister, Dr. Nirmala, Mr. Nir, Miss, Mrs. Nirmala Sitaraman, delivered the sixth memorial lecture. The virtual world saw Mr. Rajneesh Kumar last year deliver the seventh lecture. And it was then that my brother from Palo Alto, California, felt that father's passion for academia being what it is, given the fact that he began his career as a lecturer in Loyola College, preparing for the IAS, we should move it to an academic institution. Our friendship and relationship with Dr. Rangarajan enabled us to establish this endowment at the Madras School of Economics. In fact, I was very excited when one of father's very close juniors and his favorite, Mr. K. Vagatesan, the former expenditure secretary, said that it was he as the expenditure secretary who cut the first check of one crore, so to say, to establish the Madras School of Economics in line of the London School of Economics and the Delhi School of Economics. Therefore, the family feels privileged and honored that we could do it with the Madras School of Economics. And more importantly, the flavor of the whole exercise was when Dr. Rangarajan readily agreed to be the first speaker under this endowment lecture. We hope to we also took the opportunity to recognize the top two students of this institute with gold medals. This came as an inspiration for us in the family when we saw father's box. We didn't have cupboards then, perhaps. Box littered with gold medals that he had picked up around this the way during his academic excellence. We thought that students coming out of such great institutions must have something to remember. And that is why in the father's memory, he had established the gold medals as well. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to establish this prestigious endowment lecture series with the funding support of Mr. R. Ganapati and his family members in the name of G. Ramanathan, who had a brilliant career in civil service and he served as the finance secretary of government of India and executive director of IC Development Bank. In fact, it is our fourth endowment series. Already we have three endowment series at MSc, namely Sri R. Venkatraman Endowment Lecture. MSc Sage Endowment Lecture and Dr. Chelaya Memorial Lecture at the Madras School of Economics. Because of the pandemic which started in last March <laughs> uh, 2020, uh, MSc has not done any offline programs. Uh, this is indeed the first offline program. Uh, so we are uh, we're very extremely happy to organize this endowment lecture series in our auditorium today. Faculty of the MSc, Mr. Ganpati and the G. Ramachandran family, 
members of the MSC, distinguished members of the audience. It gives me great pleasure, I think it's a great honor to be able to pay a tribute to uh, Mr. G. Ramachandran. I really, unlike Chela Krishna, got to know him much later after he retired and settled in Chennai. And it's very difficult to sum up his entire bureaucratic career and his career even after that in a few words. But I would like to just point out some of the experiences which I think shaped his thinking. Mr. Ganapati, Mr. Brijesh Singh, Dr. Shabbulam, and distinguished invitees. I am deeply honored to deliver this lecture this evening, which has been instituted to commemorate the memory of Mr. G. Ramachandran, one of India's outstanding administrators. He had a brilliant academic record, and the students in the 1950s looked upon him as the appropriate role model. He had an equally brilliant record as, the, as an administrator. The political leaders under whom he worked, as well as his peers, admired him for his sincerity, integrity, and independence. The book about which a reference was made um, walking with the giants and must be read by all administrators to know exactly how they should act and behave in the context of many pulls and pushes in, with which they have to take care of. Thank you. Professor Angarajan, dignitaries on and off the dais. Thank you, MSC, for providing me an opportunity to pay tribute to my grandfather. A grandfather, they say, is one who holds his grandchildren's hands for a while and their hearts for a lifetime. As I stand at his memorial lecture, all I can say is that my grandfather was one who brought in wisdom, happiness, warmth and love to every life he touched. G. Ramachandran on the Indian government gazette, G. R. to his close friends. This is Gita Gangadharan. And I ask uh, Niranjana to accompany her to recognize the dignitaries with the book Yansha. First of all, to Dr. C. Rangarajan. He's the second recipient of the G. Ramachandran gold medal. Professor Rakesh, please.